Well, Hospital in Purient started simultaneously in 97. I was 16 at the time and it was more of an act of necessity than anything else. The first recordings were accidental in the sense that I was trying to make what I thought industrial music should sound like without really knowing anything about it. So at the time, it was really hard to get the music off of the computer. And we were just dubbing onto cassettes. And I was frustrated by that process because it wasn't capturing the, the sound of the machine. So I decided I was gonna start a organic project that was kind of in reaction against my inability to capture the computer music that we were making. And that was when Purient really started. So I had met this guy who was older than me in a design class in high school. He was working on a design on the computer and I said, what are you doing? And he said, oh, my friend's starting a record label and I'm doing a tape for him. And at the time, that, that moment like changed my life forever because it sounds silly now, but the idea of running a record label but putting out cassettes was so radical, but the idea of a cassette being like the finished product was really radical. The label that he was working for was his friend. It was called Bishu Records. And Bishu was kind of doing their own thing and, and was a big influence for us, but basically the direction that we were going was sort of out of their, their world a little bit. So we were like, well, let's just put it out ourselves because no one else ever will. And that was the only motivation. It wasn't the idea to start some big label or anything. It was just simply that nobody else would do it, so you just do it yourself. So we were just doing our first shows in public parks for free because, again, no venue, no clubs, nothing existed. So it was all just, it all came out of just necessity because we were rejected. But we had the store at this time in, in New York. So I was kind of like, well, I want to do something more dancey. I want to make something that's darker. I want to make dance music that has this kind of content of industrial. There was a kind of um, reawakening that you could do <clears throat> techno, but still there was this sort of change in the presentation and the aesthetic. Korean didn't need to be experimenting with dance music anymore because we got better at learning how to make it as a result of those albums. So I couldn't have done Vatican without the Bermuda drain through the window like Blackest Ever Black era of the, of the band. But the idea was always to have uh, the subject matter be something that was mainstream in a sense because it was in the daily media, but unusual for what you would consider to be dance music topics. It was a kind of like response to the lack of content. Well, I had closed the store in 2011 and we moved to LA briefly. So when we moved out there, we met up with Juan from Silent Servant and, and Cam from Tropic of Cancer and we just sort of hit it off and I had asked Juan what he was working on and he said he was gonna be doing an album and I said, well, let's do it on hospital. The one defining criteria for hospital is just that it be involved in and work with subcultures. So it doesn't matter to me if it's techno or industrial or noise or metal or whatever. The point is that it must come from some kind of subculture. And uh, Juan's record I think was a special moment where a lot of a lot of bridges were built between a lot of different things that could work together but were not necessarily in communication. And I, I would still consider it one of the milestones for the label. I think it's a, I think that we, we can feel comfortable in saying that it's some sort of modern, you know, classic. Well, it's a big honor for us because, you know, 10 years ago, the idea of having uh, the support of a space like this for 
so many different artists is almost unheard of. And I think I see this residency less as a residency, but more of like a collaboration. It's so vast and there's so much potential here. I think it's only the beginning of what's gonna happen with Tbilisi. And I think that's what is so strong about dance music and techno in general is that it is always a collective, collaborative experience. Mm -hmm.